Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 106, verse 1 today, praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. <clears throat> we are all needy. Beyond that, actually, we are all helpless. People don't like to hear that, but it is true. And that's why the fact that God is good should stir our hearts to praise him. He gives life. Without him, we would not be born. He preserves life. If it wasn't for Jesus who holds the very atoms that make up our body and, in fact, the entire universe together, we would blow out of existence, literally. And he gives us eternal life through Jesus Christ when we repent and receive him as Lord and Savior. So God is good, and we really do need his goodness Verse 2, who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? Who has the vocabulary, in other words, to talk about all that God has made, let alone accurately describe it all? God designed it all, and he spoke it all into existence and we can't even talk about it. <clears throat> he designed and created it all. And we don't even have the words to describe it. That's how much God is greater than we are. Three, blessed are they that observe justice. And he that doeth righteousness at all times. Those who observe justice will be blessed. But if there is one who does right at all times, God will bless him behind, beyond their imagination. Maybe not materially in this life, but for sure spiritually and in the next life. For <clears throat> remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O oh, visit me with thy salvation. He is suggesting that he is not worth blessing. He is suggesting that he is too insignificant to bless, but he asked for it anyway. When we do not think that we are worthy, we should ask of God. Because he says he doesn't despise a broken spirit. Now, if we think we are worthy, we're wasting our time asking him for anything. Because we're not. That's arrogance, and he will not bless that. He will not cater to that nonsense. Five, that I, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. And if it wasn't for the cross that paid for our sins, none would be God's chosen, and there would be no joy for anyone. Well, we'll stop right there for today. Now, you can study all of the Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. You just choose from four series going through the whole Bible, verse by verse. Choose, click, and listen. And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, you can be by praying for me and God's Word and clicking the Donate button at the top of the front page at the thebibleversebyverse.com. Prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time right here on Coffee Break.